Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. In this section we're going to begin to talk about power and power calculations. So up until now we've done a good job of sort of introducing what a circuit is, some basic circuit components. We have introduced Ohm's Law which is so essential. You'll see Ohm's Law coming back again and again and again as we go into more complicated circuits. And so we've kind of got a taste of voltage and current and resistance which are central to everything. Here we're going to talk about power. Everybody watching this video has an idea about what the idea and concept of power is, right? Um, what you need to kind of associate with power really I think is the unit and then you'll start to understand. The unit of power is a watt, right? So we've all heard of watts. When you get a, a light bulb and it's 60 watts, that's a unit of power. Uh, whenever you get a 120 watt light bulb, that means that that light bulb consumes more power, so it's brighter, right? So the higher the wattage or the higher the number of watts that something is, is uh, producing or absorbing, depending on what you're talking about, there's more power involved, right? Power is the thing that gets the work done, right? It's, it's, what, it's what's actually doing work. In fact, when you look at the unit of, of watt, uh, it's actually, and I'll talk about this and write it down in a second, the unit of a watt is a joule per second. So if you think back to physics, we, we learned about the unit of energy. Energy is joules, right? So energy is joules. That's how much energy is, is used or, or, or whatever in a process. But when you're talking about power, you're talking about continuous usage of this energy. So it's joule per second. So it's how many joules is being used every second. So in a light bulb, for instance, that's 60 watts, that just means that 60 joules every second going through that light bulb. So anytime you're talking about watts, you're talking about something happening continuously until you turn the thing off. So when you flip the light switch on, if it's 60 watts, it's 60 joules per second being, you know, um, really uh, irradiated or so to speak, absorbed by that light bulb from the electricity coming from the wall, right? And being trans, you know, transmitted into light, but that's 60 joules every single second. So when you're thinking about power, think about that fact that it's every second something's going on. That's what the unit is. People get confused about the unit of joule, which is energy, and the unit of power, which is watt. Power, you know, is something that's constantly going on. It's a usage of energy per second. All right, so in this uh, lesson, we're going to apply these ideas to circuit elements. And so when we have a circuit, we're generally going to care. We're going we're to want to know how many watts something is using, right? Because we all have an idea that, that power usage is important in circuits. So uh, before we get into a real circuit, let me draw sort of like a pretend circuit element up here. I'm going to draw a square. This could be a resistor in here. It could be, you know, whatever. It could be 10 resistors in here. But I'm not going to care really what's in here, so I'm just going to draw a box because the concept is more important at this point. And connected to this box are, you know, the wires that we always have in these circuits. So here's a lead coming out here, here's a lead coming out here. Now let me do some labeling really quickly. What we're going to say is the current flowing through this device is going this direction and the current is value I. And across the, across the box, across the device, we have a voltage drop. We're going to call it V. Now this should not be new at all to you because we've talked about, uh, when we have, just pretend it's a resistor here, we talked about the fact that when a circuit is going, you've got current flowing through everything. But the only way this current can actually uh, flow is when you have voltage, right? So the source over here, which could be the voltage source pushing this current, is not shown in here. This is not a complete circuit. I'm just trying to focus on the power absorbed by